Okay, we're here at halftime with uh, my friend Steve Benford, who's going to talk to us about the Keep Smiling for Abby organization here in Hopkinton. Steve, if, um, unfortunately, I know you lost your daughter about uh, a little over a year ago to a uh, food allergy uh, reaction. Right. I don't think I'm saying it. I don't know if I got the medical terms all correct, but uh, Steve's done a, and his family and a group of friends have done a remarkable job putting together an organization in Abby's memory and uh, what she was really known for was her smile and uh, Steve just smiled and put a tear in my eye here and uh, Steve if you could just give us a little background and where you are with your sure. organization at the moment. Well thank you Pat I appreciate you having me out here. Um, my daughter Abby uh, as you said had a uh, lifelong history of food allergies. She's, uh, she managed those allergies without risk for anaphylaxis uh, which is an allergic reaction to the allergies. Uh, in December of 2014, uh, 2013, she suffered an anaphylaxis uh, episode. Uh, for those of you that don't know, anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that overtakes the body. Uh, Abby um, received a textbook emergency response, but unfortunately uh, it wasn't good enough to save her, and, and she, she passed away after four days on life support. Uh, we were formed about two months later. Uh, we formed an organization called Keep Smiling for Abby. Uh, it, it's really sprung from the grassroots community uh, support that my family received in the wake of Abby passing away. Uh, we felt like there was a, there was a, a missing link in, in the medical care that Abby received uh, leading up to her reaction, not so much in the hospital or at her reaction, but in, in the sort of moments leading up to her reaction, uh, we, feel like we felt like we could do something more. So with, with uh, a lot of support from people in town here in Hopkinton, we formed Keep Smiling for Abby, and, and we've been off and running for about a year and, and a month. What have been some of the activities? I know I was at a uh, field hockey game right. where uh, some community members and it was alumni, and if you can talk a little bit about sure, that. And what sure. So last year we, we formed a, uh, a small organizing committee and we did a couple of fundraising events. The one you're referring to is in what was in, uh, in August, but we started in May with, a, with an, uh, a smiling at the ocean side at a restaurant in Rhode Island, a uh, very successful event, about 200 people came. Uh, and we followed that up with the, the field hockey alumni game. Uh, Joan Bannon, the field hockey coach, uh, took the lead on that and really put together a great day here in Hopkinton at the athletic fields. Abby uh, was a field hockey goalie, uh, and the field hockey program rallied and really supported us. Uh, another great event outside uh, in August of last year. Um, we had a great, great year. We raised over $100,000 gross uh, last year. Uh, about 40% of that came from those two events, but the, the better story, I think, is that 60% of our donations came from small mom-and-pop hand you know, $10 checks at a time uh, from the town of Hopkinton largely. So we're very grateful for the support of the community. And I know um, boosters have put your, uh, you have T-shirts, both long and That's short right. sleeve T-shirts that can be bought in the uh, school uh, booster store. That's right. The boosters were a big help to get us started. We, we had a, an idea to do a Keep Smiling shirt that, that uh, we asked the boosters to put the shirts in the store so the kids could get a hold of them. Very successful program. The boosters uh, have been very supportive, and we're very thankful for that. Um, can, in the, you referred to the long sleeve shirt. We did a long sleeve shirt to, to, to sort of uh, promote our, our uh, hashtag, sort of a social media campaign called Smiling Around the World uh, that, that was very successful. Kids around the, went to Rome and Africa and all around in the summer vacations, Cape Cod and Maine, and took pictures of, uh, of, of themselves with Keep Smiling gear, the T-shirts or wristbands that we had. Uh, and, and it was very successful. We did there a couple of follow-up There were some incredible sites. Uh, there were. I, I believe there was Yugoslavia, That's Paris, right. London. I My favorite was at the Statue of David where one of the students put a, uh, one of the girls put a, put a, 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 a memory um, wristband mm -hmm. strategically located so that uh, you could see the wristband and not much else. So it was very fun. Good program. Well, when I travel to Ireland, I'm bringing a Keep Abbey uh, bracelet with me Please and I'm going to take it uh, in my father's hometown because my dad do. had a big smile. No, that would be great. But uh, I know part of what your mission is education and oh, That's how right. is that? So we have three goals, Pat. We have three. Our, our primary goal is to fund research. Our, our family decided, as I mentioned earlier, that there's a missing link in, in the medical research side. And then really what we're trying to do is fund research to, to detect anaphylaxis earlier. There's 17 or 18 symptoms that happen in the human body with anaphylaxis. Our goal is to, to get out in front of that and, and alert the patient and the family uh, and caregivers that a reaction is ensuing and to treat that reaction faster. Um, we also have a, a, an awareness program and we fund two scholarships here at the Hopkinton High School. But our primary goal is to fund research. We're very excited. We, we've got a, 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 an alliance building with, a, with a, a research lab affiliated with Harvard University. It's called the Wyss Institute, spelled W-Y-S-S. -S. 
uh, we hope to fund research programs through their product development pipeline that will provide an early warning uh, to an anaphylaxis episode uh, to give the treatment, uh, tre treatment and early responders more time to react. Out of a terrible tragedy, it seems like some very, very good things are being done. We're yeah. feeling really good about it. The, the, the activity is, is really sprung from the community. We're really happy about the support we're getting from Hopkinton. Um, and, and our family gets a lot of uh, uh, relief and a lot of, a lot of, um, um, a lot of support from, that, from this charity effort. So it's really been healing for our family. And uh, just as we're kind of winding down on time here, uh, one thing that I noticed on Facebook this week was a wonderful tribute or kind of uh, video. I'm technically incompetent with right. my words here, but uh, you can go to Facebook to keep smiling for Abby's site and see a, a video of a lot of activities that were over the past year. Right. And That's right. My, uh, sorry. My, uh, no problem. Uh, we, uh, we, we have a pretty big media, uh, social media presence on, as you mentioned, our Facebook page. My wife, Amy, is very creative, very technical. And she did a, uh, a very nice tribute video that we, we sort of lay over with some music to, to sort of give people a sense for who Abby was, her big smile, her big personality. She's a very, uh, very positive young kid, young woman. And uh, my wife put this together to help people outside of the community to get to know Abby a little bit. As we, as we reach into 2015, we have two big fundraiser events planned, one at the Warren Center in Ashland on May 2nd, and one in, uh, we'll do a field hockey event again uh, in, in August. But what we're hoping to do is spread out beyond Hopkinton and get people to know who Abby was and feel good about supporting our organization to, to drive this research effort to, to save lives. Oh, well, just magnificent work being done. And uh, thank you so much for coming here uh, tonight and spending some time with me. And I never had the pleasure of meeting your daughter, but I feel like I know her through your efforts and thank the you efforts back. of your wife. And just wonderful thank thing. Thank you very so, much. And, uh, stay, stay close with us with the boosters. We'll be glad to help you. And my goal this year is to get Mr. Lehman in a skirt. Yes, at right. the, uh, Maybe we'll get you out there in a goalie pad. Uh, well, in my old age, we'll see. Yeah. But thanks again, okay. Steve. We're going to get back Pat. to the game. Okay, bye. Bye.